picking up where I left off. Sometime, I think around June, maybe July, I got as far as up here along the lower Mystic Lake and we're now heading up into Winchester. I sat on this bluff last June or July, called it a day, and then walked over there to go explore the properties around the Shepherd Brooks estate. <clears throat> so having covered that, I'm resuming this exploration of what is presumably the Mystic River Greenway. <laughs> Essentially, it's kind of like rebranding. Most of this part of it was created during the days of the Metropolitan District Commission. They were essentially responsible for managing the water supply of Greater Boston, but they also <clears throat> ended up with all manner of property that was then designated for public use park space. So now we're following along the shore of the upper Mystic Lake and you can hear a passenger train over there. We're right next to the Lowell Line Railroad, which I may end up riding on later. Well, more or less in the town of Winchester. This is the Mystic Valley Parkway, one of the many little period auto roads that predate the larger interstates. <coughs> and there are all manner of little folk trails going off along the lakeside. And here we're at the other side of the dam. Now we're in Upper Mystic Lake, Winchester. That's the Tufts Boathouse. There's the dam. Some other boatyard. And the broader lake itself. Water is rather clear, which is always encouraging. And the land's kind of messy. What do you want? It's a city. This is a little, it's one of the first little picnic areas that one runs into after the driveway to boathouses in the dam. It's urban, you can tell, people dump their crap here. What the, oh, it's a bunch of sign parts. Crappy plywood. And there's the trail. 
and we're back on it. After having run across the decayed and relic park bench. Oh, there's a bench. <laughs> Surely one for the record books. So the initial aim for all of this effort is the point where the Aberjona comes in to this upper lake. From here beyond it's the Aberjona taking over most of the duties as trunk of the water course. And it actually ends up all the way in Reading. Although, thank heavens, I'm not going there today. I was there the other day. I know all Reading all too well. <laughs> oh, another nice vantage spot. More parking. More abandoned debris on an otherwise charming park bench. Yes, it's a rude and crude sort of scene. Huh. Funny little gate post thing. Probably intending to discourage people from going near the railroad or something. Remember how close the railroad is. Ooh, more old weird infrastructure relics. So I did indeed find a Perfectly outstanding little spot for watching trains without being a safety risk or intruding on rail property. This is a little service access road that I spotted right across the street. Upper Mystic Lake. So I figured I'd investigate. Sure enough. I've been looking for an access spot along here, and this is as perfect as if it had been designed. See, here's the telltale gate. River Greenway, my principal investigation project for today, right over there. So, and there's a parking lot. Nearly everything that your modern motorized American could hope for. more of the upper mystic lake and there's that little spot leading to train sighting options and there's a convenient parking lot to stick your car for just such the occasion woohoo oh, some bracket fungi Better get out there and add that. It's got nice sunlight on it too. 
great oak trees around here. They're old. See, there's a glimpse of the railroad. You can just see the little bit of track rust in a horizontal line shining through with the sun reflecting off it. <laughs> 